Hey everybody, this is David again with Shadow Six Creations. Finally getting ready to do some stuff on the diorama again. Uh, been a crazy few months recovering from COVID, recovering from surgery, getting this house ready to sell. So I finally have a little time to sit down and start getting back on the diorama for us. It's been a long time coming, I'm anxious, I'm looking forward to doing this. So I wanted to kind of show everybody what I've gotten from Hobby Lobby. So this is what we're going to be starting with. We've got some really cool trees. Uh, these are six to seven inch two piece um, uh, deciduous trees, just kind of a basic tree. Um, they're, it's per, they're pretty much going to be scale for what we're doing. Um, so these, you know, they're, they're really nice. Um, we've got those. I got some extra corn stalks. So dried corn stalks. Um, if I remember correctly, these are a pack of 30. But these these original ones I had gotten online. Um, but I ended up, where's my bag of goodies here? Ah, got those. We've got some wheat. We've got some hay bales. So really cool looking hay bales. Again, I'm mo like I said, most of these things are coming from Hobby Lobby. And the other thing I got that we're going to be using for like bushes and such. Um, really happy I got these. Are different couple different types of shrubs. Now these just come in a very big bulk package, so you kind of pick them out and make them how you want them. So I know they're a little hard to see. I'm sorry, I'm not at my usual table. I got stuff all over the place trying to get ready to take some stuff back up north when we're going to be moving. So I apologize for all that. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get down to business and start kind of getting some ideas of what we're going to do. So these trees, um, we're going to open these up. I've been really, really anxious to look at these. Yeah, it makes a noise, makes a noise in the background. Okay, so these are really nice. Um, now you're going to have to kind of, kind of clean these up a little bit. They've got some uh, some what looks like long pieces of hair coming off of them. Um, but look at these. These these are really nice. So these are six to seven inch tall trees. And they're just going to stand just like that. Now, of course, keep in mind that I'm going to be gluing these down, adding some effects, putting some mud around them um, to kind of give it a more realistic look. Now, this is the setting that we're going to be going for for this diorama. So our tank um, is going to kind of making it look like it's stopped in a local area, um, preferably a farm. That's what we're going for. Um, so we're going to have some trees going to be right around in the area. Oh, so you obviously that the trees don't want to stay around. So we're going to have these glued down. Um, we'll take off the area like we did with this. Now, let me, I want to address this spot real quick. That spot was where I had done, I had showed everybody how to do some, um, uh, dirt rows for like farming and such. Well, I decided I'm going to do, do that a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit longer, a little bit of a bigger plot. We don't have a lot of area to work with on this. So we're going to put, um, we're going to put a few things on there. Um, we're definitely going to put some hay bales. We're going to look at a couple of areas for some corn, for some corn and our, uh, wheat, um, kind of start planning out where we're going to be sitting everything. Um, so from there, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I think over here, what we're going to have is we're going to have our tank look like it's coming down a road. So we'll do some mud effects, um, Maybe see if we can simulate some mud puddles. Uh, there's a couple ways we can do that. Uh, some people like using resin um, to simulate water. Um, I haven't had the chance to use resin yet. I do see that a lot of people like to do that for dioramas that will be like um, an ocean battle with like a battleship or something along those lines. Um, for this, what we'll probably do is... Um, just make it look like a, a, a normal brick or dirt road um, to simulate how the tank tracks are gonna do are, are coming through. We're gonna put tank tracks through it, footprints, um, 
that type of thing. That's going to be a little bit more in depth. Um, but, you know, with our infantry, I am so glad with how all of our infantry came out. These guys just came out looking so good. This is our infantry sergeant. German infantry, he came out looking so good. Um, I'm sorry for the low lighting. It's kind of stormy out today and it's kind of dark in here. But this video, what we're doing is we're getting ready to, we're just laying everybody out. We're going to kind of get, have them looking, we're going to basically start planning this out, laying it out. That's what we're going to be doing. So we have a squad. Let's reattach some of these guys, make them look like they fit there. Uh, we have our uh, tank commander. And what we're going to be doing is we've got everybody laid out. Where do you have one tank commander? Um, what I'm thinking we'll have, we'll have this guy as like a crewman. He's going to be standing by waiting to see kind of what the infantry want to do. Um, we also need to put a little bit more effects on these guys. Um, we're going to put some more effects on our tank. So now for the corn rows, uh, like the like the dirt rows and such, for like looking like it's been plowed up. I don't think I really showed everybody how I did that at one time. So I didn't go into too much detail, but the way that I do rows of corn or the dirt, I should say. Let me go back into that. So I got a simple cardboard box, okay? Simple. Just something you wouldn't think of normally. Well, there's something really cool. I'm going to open this up. And we're going to look at this. So you see the corrugation. That's going to be our rolls of dirt. Okay. So we're going to kind of lay this out. We're going to get some ideas on... How we're going to place this, how big we want. Okay, so we've got a few different spots here. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and cut, cut the area off that we want to work with. And, and of course, as always, be careful. Please don't cut off your fingers. I don't want to see comments where, oh, you forgot to warn me. I, did, I cut off my finger. Well, don't cut off your finger. It doesn't make a very good diorama piece. Okay. So here's a here's a good couple ways to look at it. So we have this part, so where it folds, you know, that's going to be a good, easy, pre-made, small area that we're going to put that we can use. Um, what I'm thinking is this. So we still have a good bit that we can work with. Um, I want to make. I really want to bring some realism to this farm. We're making it. So my thought process is, uh, we've got a German mechanized infantry that are roaming through the fields of France, moving to their objectives. So um, they come upon a farm, okay? So we come upon a farm with some nice little corn rows and our infantry, you know, they're, they're kind of taking a break. They're setting up some defensive positions, okay? So I think what we're gonna do, one, we're gonna have to clear out this space a little bit more. And that's not going to be too bad. So I'm actually, we're going to go ahead and put this like towards the outside edge of the diorama. Now, the reason I'm going to do that is one, it's going to be right there at the very edge. It's making it look like it's um, right at the very end of the, of the, of the, of the farming area. And it still gives us a good bit to work with. So. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and trim this down now. I'm trimming down some of the portions that... Some of the overhang. Let's let's call it that. We're trimming down some of the overhang. We want this to look as clean as we possibly can. Now... Okay. Now, I've gone ahead and chosen one that has, a, has larger corrugation. Um, mainly because it's going to look more, uh, they're going to look larger. They're going to look more like, like actual rows of produce, uh, wheat, corn, anything like that. 
Now, when you're doing this, okay, we're gonna use this small piece for example. But when we're doing this, we wanna find a piece that is starting to peel off just like that. Now, being very careful, you wanna peel that one side off from the other, okay? And look at this, look how that's, look how that's coming along. Looking just like cornrows. Now, I'm not gonna be using this piece, I'm gonna be using the bigger piece, but this is for uh, example purposes, for demonstration purpose. So I mean, look at that, that's perfect for cornrows. That works out well, okay? So I'm actually gonna be using this middle piece right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down and we're gonna prepare it. Um, we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing this diorama over a couple of videos. Um, that gives me time gives components time to dry, gives me time to uh, get a few other things done for the diorama as well as personal things. So um, yeah, this is definitely gonna be done over a couple of videos. But don't worry, we are getting on top of it again. Okay, I'm just going to trim just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and carefully pull that off. Okay. Now again, seeing which side we want to take off, which is probably going to be, there we go. I'm going to get that edge that has the tape on it. I don't want that on there. So being very careful. Now, if you get to get it to where it's looking like that, don't worry, you can trim that down. Mm, yeah, it didn't trim as well as I'd like, but that's okay. 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 So we're gonna be basically trimming all of this off. Now, if you find that it's not cooperating the way you want you can do one of two things trim it down or start over nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that at all okay so there we go so that's <clears throat> that's going to be the basis so giving you an example this is going to be the basis of our um cornfield so we're gonna be doing corn, we're gonna be doing something, we're gonna be doing wheat. Um, you don't necessarily have to do both, I may not do both. Um, so that's what we're gonna be looking at for that. Okay, now let's kind of talk about how we're gonna do the road and the train. So my thought process is this, okay. Got a couple of trees that are in the area now you need to keep in mind that you're gonna have to you have to con you also have to keep in mind uh what you're putting down okay so <clears throat> we've got some trees in the general area maybe we've got some tree maybe these guys are taking cover you know it's a hot, nice hot french summer so you got to kind of figure out where you want to put them um and go from there now I am, uh, so one of the things that I'm doing right now is I'm actually going to start taping these down in the general area of where I think I want to put them. So we'll say, put some right there, just get some ideas, there might be some along the road. We want to start making this come to life, planning it out, and kind of figure how we want to do this. Okay. So we got some general ideas. Um, I'm doing kind of an aerial view right now. In the next video, we'll change that up and we'll look at it a little bit more. Um, so let's take a look at some hay bales. Okay. So we got hay bales. Now, um... Basically, this, how we're gonna 
how we're going to do this is make it look like it's an abandoned field. Um, the Germans have come, so you've got French refugees that are running away, uh, getting timber. No, nope, Sergeant, get out of the tree. Nope, you're not allowed to climb in the tree. Not a good example for your for your soldiers there. So let's kind of take that down a little bit more. Granted, it's not the best, but okay. Anyways, so let's take a look at some of these hay bales. Now, we have round and square. Um, we're going to have... We've got a couple of different ways that we can do this. So we got smaller areas. Now, here is what I'm thinking. So you got that German infantry crew right there. Uh, or the the you got the Ger you got the machine gun crew, okay? Right here. Well, there's no rocks or anything around right now. Well, one of the things you can actually do is we can make it look like that the Germans, like this machine gun crew, is taking cover behind them. Um we have hay bales that are here for decoration and to catch the eye. So there's a few ways that we can think of doing that. Um, how I'm going to do it is I'm going to make the squad kind of form a perimeter. So kind of like an outside perimeter. We'll have, uh, we can have them behind cover under the trees. Uh, we have hay bales here. So we can make it look like that the farmer had just started harvesting his crops. Um, so we can have them here. So we've got a few options. Um, the tank, we're going to make it look like it's just on the road. Uh, so we, so we got some options for that. Now, you might say, oh, well, what about rocks? There's no rocks in the area. Yeah, you got a good point there. Which is why we make our own. Now this stuff is self-drying clay. It's air dry, or excuse me, self-drying clay, wow. Air drying clay. So instead of it having to be baked like in a kiln or anything like that, uh, what we do, so it comes out white. Now, what we're gonna do is this. Mm. Feels like a good bit of that actually dried out. Okay, I'll take that chunk off. See now, it comes out, you can get a couple different colors, the normal clay, or you can get white. Now, I'm gonna take, and we're gonna go ahead and make a rock or two right now. Um, very basic, I'm gonna show you some really cool tricks that I've kind of picked up over the years of, of, of like wanting to make like a scenario or scenery. So let's kind of carefully push them out of the way and we're gonna adjust our camera. We're gonna come down right here to this really messy, nasty looking table. And the sun has come out. Okay. So now, depending on the size of the rock that you want, you don't need to take a whole lot, okay? So we'll say we'll take a little bit here um, we're going to do some small rocks. We're just going to do a couple of them now just to kind of give for example. Now, I need to get some new clay just because of how crumbly this is right now. But, okay, tree fell over again. That's all right. So you want to kind of mash it together. And pick up any pieces that are falling apart. And we want to kind of give it a good rock-like consistency. Now, there's no, there's no right or wrong way to do this when it comes to making a rock. Um, rocks and boulders and stones, they come in all shapes and sizes. Nothing wrong with that. So I'm going to kind of make this look like it's just a normal basic rock. Okay? So it's got all these curves. It's got all these pieces to it. Now, if you want to give it a bit more texture, kind of make it look a little bit more um, crag-like. 
Take a thing of aluminum foil, and then look at this. Push it into it. Okay, we're gonna give this texture. We're gonna make this look uh, like it's broken, like it's, um, we're, we're giving it texture. It's, that's exactly what we're doing. So um, let's take a look at some other ideas. I have some pre-made rocks uh, that I did a little while back. Um, unfortunately, I cannot remember where I've put them in this insanity with trying to get stuff packed and moved. So, in the meantime, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm out of camera right now, kind of mashing up our clay, trying to get a little bit, um, just trying to make it come to a little bit, come together a little bit more so it's not breaking up so much. Okay, so there's another one. Now this one, the smaller piece, kind of kind of make this a little bit flatter for the terrain. Okay. Yeah, I haven't used this clay in a while, so it's kind of breaking up. I got to get some new one, but that's okay. <laughs> See what I mean? Falling all over the place. Now, that's not a bad thing. You can make it look like these little bits have broken and followed, fallen off and crumbled. Give it, you know, give your landscape some characteristic. Okay. So, again, with your aluminum foil... Push it into it and give it some character. There's no wrong way to do this. Not at all. You can make it even. You can make it uneven. You can do whatever you want with it. Keep it broken. So, that's your base. So, these are some basic ideas for rocks that we're going to do. Um, like I said, might have to get a little bit. Might have to get some new clay. Uh, so it's not as broken. It looks terrible. I've also got bags of pebbles and rocks that I'm also going to use. Um, so we have ideas like that. So we've also got shrubs. Now, again, since we're not work, since we're working with a little bit of a smaller area, so we can carefully, carefully bring this back into scene. Okay, so kind of moved us everything back into place. Um, so we can get some more ideas and figure out what we're doing from here. Now, these shrubs. So, there's a couple of different things that, that I think we're going to do. On the outside edge of the diorama, I'm actually going to put some, some almost like hedgerows. Um, hedgerows were very common, um, in the European theater. They were impossible to get through. Um, tanks had trouble getting through them. Um, they had the, if I remember correctly, the U.S. Army actually had to develop, um, some attachments to, like, the Shermans to be able to punch through them. So, it, it, these hedgerows were, were practically impenetrable. Um, so there were, you know, there, there, there's those that we can also put on here. Um, again, this video is about planning and getting it all ready to uh, put together. So, um, so what we're going to do is let's open these up and kind of get some ideas. I can show you what these look like. I've got medium green. I've got light green colors. Um, these are really, you got to be careful with these, with these shrubs because they can kind of shred apart if you're not careful. Um, you can pull them apart and you can kind of arrange them how you want. Okay, where is my razor? There we go. That's coming out. Okay, there we go. So now these are kind of, yeah, these are falling apart just a little bit. So this is kind of what it looks like. I mean, look at that. You can just simply put that down and you have a shrub. So you want to, obviously you're going to want to kind of glue it in place. Um, and kind of try to keep it bunched together as much as you can, depending on what you want to do. Uh, they make really good landscape pieces. Um, so definitely, you, we definitely got quite a few options for what we're going to try and do for this particular diorama. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do for now, um, 
we're going to go ahead and end this video uh, so I can kind of get some more ideas. I uh, didn't want everybody to think that I'd forgotten about this. So, um, oh, you know what? No, we're not done quite yet. So, for for your uh, cornrows and rows of wheat. Let me pull this back. So you have, you got this, you got this little simple piece. Now you don't have to leave this back on the other side. Um, if, if you can, if you're able to, go ahead and peel that off to give it more realism. Um, or you can just kind of trim it down. You have to be careful with this because it will tend to fold in on itself when it's drying. So um, you've, so kind of be careful. You don't need to put it, glue it all the way on. One of the effects that I use for mud, and this, and this is a fantastic tactical paint by Citadel. Um, literally it is Sterling mud. And it comes out nice and thick. They have a really good texture tool for it. Um, I mean, if you just look at this, it looks like actual mud okay so um that's another thing i'm going to show as we get this laid out and ready to go um we're going to start making some cornrows we're going to get those put in they're really simple to put down uh where's my corn here it is so like here's our cornrows so um if you look at the packaging They've got there are they've got these little shafts on them that you can just punch through. Um, as a matter of fact, let's open that. We'll get some ideas. And if I remember correctly, I got this online. I got this particular set online uh, for I think it was like fifteen or twenty dollars. Um, they had a shortage of these at the time, so that's why it was a little bit more. Uh, you can make your own. Not a, not not anything wrong with that at all. So let's kind of pull these out. And take a look at those. So those are our cornrows. So it's literally, that's literally all there is to it. Now, with how they are, um, this makes it a little bit easier. The way they're designed, you can simply just push them through. Or, to make it a little bit easier... Just do that and then so it sits on there really well and then from there we can go ahead and we can get the we can glue them in place um, and get the mud started on them so that works out really well for the corn the wheat is basically the same thing so our wheat it's a 40 piece set that I got from Hobby Lobby um, Goodness gracious, I can't even open a box. Okay, here we go. So you got rows of wheat. Look like that they're blowing in the wind. Um, same way. So those come out really looking really well. Um, Hobby Lobby, they, they, they put out some really cool stuff. So uh, for this video... Um, this is just kind of talking about where we're going to be taking our steps next. So, um, continue following along. Uh, give me about another, give me a little bit more time to get myself situated when I get back up north. And we're going to continue putting this together. I'm really excited. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, so stay tuned and follow along. Um, Thank you guys for, for, for subscribing to the channel, for watching these videos. This is, this is a lot of fun. I enjoy doing this. Uh, I like seeing your guys' comments. So please, you know, comment, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you all later.